Our snowman is going to have three parts. First, it's going to have the background with the snowflakes on the ground. On top of that is going to be the body of the snowman, you know, with the head, the middle section, the bottom section, and also like the eyes and the buttons. And on top of that, we're going to have another layer that is going to be the accessories, like the hat, the broom, and even the arms. What we're doing right now is drawing the ground. To do that, we're going to use a radial gradient and we're going to place it way uh, below the image itself uh, with a large value. So instead of looking like a circle, it's going to look like a small hill, like a small curvature. Now, we're doing other radial gradients. This time it's going to be for the snowflakes. What we want is to have different backgrounds, all of them radial gradients, so they are circles. And we want them to have different sizes, the, the, the circles are going to be different sizes and the background itself is going to be different size. That way the snowflakes are going to be distributed all across the screen. The only problem as you can see is that there may be some repetition especially in small screens. To avoid that we can change the size of the background image in itself and make it larger. That way there will still be repetition but it will not be so obvious. For the snowman's body, we're going to use the before pseudo element of the HTML tag. What we're going to do is that we're going to create a circle. This time it's not going to be with radial gradient. It's going to be like the element in itself using border radius. We're going to make it a circle. And we're going to duplicate um, the, that circle with different sizes uh, using box saddle. So what we want to do is that circle to be a small thing within the body. In particular, we're going to use the eye. So the eye of our snowman is going to be the circle. And then with the box shadow, we're going to create the second eye, as you can see. Now we duplicated another circle. We make it larger and that's going to be our head. Now we create the middle section that is going to be a bigger circle again. And finally, the bottom section is going to be an even larger circle. Uh, on top of that, what we're going to do is that we are going to add some blurry box shadows in between the head and the middle section and between the middle section and the bottom section. That way it's going to look like, you know, it's going to give some depth to the drawing in itself. Finally, what we're going to do is that we're going to create buttons in the middle section of the, of the snowman so it looked like the buttons of a jacket. For the arms and the rest of the accessories, we're going to use the after pseudo element. What we're going to do is that we're going to create a rectangle that is going to go on top of the snowman. Um, we're going to use both the box shadows and the linear gradients to create uh, the different things. So for example, for the hat, we will use the box shadow and we're going to use three box shadows actually. It's going to be a, a box shadow to make the bottom of the, of the hat, then another box shadow to make the lace, and then another box shadow, a last box shadow to make the top hat. For the arms and the broom, we are going to use linear gradients. With a linear gradient of transparent, color transparent, we are going to be able to generate a line and with the angle of the gradient, we will specify the direction in which it will be displayed. Now, by adjusting the background size of that gradient, we will be able to adjust the width of the line. A bigger background makes a wider line, a smaller background makes a narrower line. 
This way, we will be able to generate the lines for both arms, the hand, the broom, and the top of the broom. As a final touch, we are going to add an animation. We are going to have the snowflakes falling from the sky into the ground. For this animation we use keyframes and what we do is that we adjust the background position of the backgrounds that make the snowflakes from 0 to 100 VH. That way we make sure that the snowflakes will fall all the way across the screen. With that, we have completed our CSS Snowman.